Brighton's in hospital with a broken jaw, broken hand. It was a real war and become a two-time world champion tonight. What could be for him next? I think, look, you've got the Lee Wood fight. There's a mandatory as well. There's a, a Navaretti fight. There's a Santa Cruz fight. He's always wanted a trip to America, so we'll have to see. But tonight he got his belt back. Yeah, and he started off with really intent as well. Yeah, right great, yeah great first round. Didn't start throwing punches, but Kiko was always dangerous, you know, even to the stoppage. I think, I think it was just before the stoppage that Kiko broke Josh Warrington's jaw. So he was always very dangerous. And have you had a chance to chat to Lee Wood about what Lee thought of the performance? No, um, you know, I think Lee was very respectful in the respect of saying that it's his night tonight, so let him enjoy it. And like I said, we'll see what happens next week. Some great fights on the undercard as well. Yeah, really good. Maxi Hughes box well. Ebony Bridges was fantastic. Dawn Smith's a, a real star in the making as well. How do you talk about potential fights in the future? Ebony Bridges world champion? Amazing. I'm really one. pleased for her because, you know, we know that she's built a fan base by being cheeky. But beyond that, she works really hard in the sport and she's put you know a lot into that fight with Mark Tibbs. Thought she boxed really well tonight and deserves to be world champion. She, you know, she changed her life tonight. Can you quickly run through the rest of the card? Any standouts for us? Uh, Dawn Smith I thought was fantastic. Maxi Hughes boxed really, really well. Uh, great win for Sky Nicholson as well. Callum French, great performance, but obviously tonight belongs to Josh Warrington. That's one from us, Connor Ben on the April 16th. Yeah. Any news on an undercard yet? Yeah, obviously we've got Chris Billum Smith against Tommy McCarthy, rematch. Uh, Jack Cullen on that fight as well. Um, and we're going to announce about three new fights for that card probably on Monday or Tuesday. Eddie, Shannon Courtney was ringside. Is that yeah. a natural fight it's for Bridges? It's a big fight because you know there's a, there's a lot of history there and the build-up will be fun. But there's the Jamie Mitchell fight, there's other unification fights and right now Ebony holds the belt. So she's in a great position. Sky Nicholson told me uh, the other day she wants to get on that Taylor Serrano card. Everybody does. We'll have to see. She's had a good run. So we'll see. But I, I want to make sure that we showcase female talent on that card as well. So we'll see. Thank I just like to make him rich, really. Yeah, I, I said. Yeah, I told him, look, he, he's done well. You know, he's done well. Um, but now I want to secure him that, that big fight that really changes his life. I hope so. I hope so. Can I just ask you a reaction just to some reports that Haney Cambosis could land on ESPN? Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, could. I mean, we're, we're trying to deal to close a deal with the zone, or the zone are trying to close a deal with Lou De Bella. Um, but obviously, we we need to whoever uh, Cambosis does a deal with on the US side for TV, obviously that puts us in a situation where we have to see, but confident the zone can close the deal, but we'll see what happens so next you'd be happy, you, Sorry, you'd be happy for Haney to fight on the I mean, look, he he needs, you know, that's the situation where he's uh, um, got to fight there to get to land a fight to be undisputed, but we've got a lot of options for him and uh, we hope we can close the deal. Did you ask if you listened to talk sport yesterday? I, I did, yeah. It was, uh, it was an interesting one. I mean, it's a right mess. I mean, it's really bad for business, like, just in general. I don't think it's. It, at first, I thought you know it's quite a good build-up and stuff like that, but it doesn't put the sport in a good light. Is the fight going to gonna happen? Do you think, Eddie? Because that's starting to rumble that about. I think so. I think so. But if you listen to that, you'd think not. Eddie, would you like a uh, ringside uh, ticket for that? And if so, what would be the best way for you to try and get one? I could work as a steward on the night. <laughs> be interesting. Eddie, Bob said if you want a ticket, just to bail him up. Last time I went to a show where I had a fire on Bob Aram's card, he stuck me on the other side. So. I'm alright, thanks. Bye, boys.